What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. I'm here today to discuss one of my favorite positions, which is Chapter 5 of the Master Plan, Back Mount Offense. We'll be focusing primarily on the control section of the chapter. We will be discussing a technique that I call the Modified Hook Drill. This is when an opponent clears both of your hooks while you maintain in control with your over-under. I hope you find great value in what I'm presenting and I'll talk to you real soon. So now, he's able to clear the hooks, boom, 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 and now I have nothing. So now I have nothing, now I have no hooks, but I do have, but it's not, I don't have nothing because I still have the fact that I have no hooks. So I am on the strong side right now, which means my choking arm is closer to the ground. It's very important that I stay very tight here and I don't allow him to slip his back to the ground. So if he's trying to slip his back to the ground, my head is very tight. I'm keeping my chest tight to the shoulder here. The shoulder is the one that's going to be slipping away. I start to move my hip away, and I start to come up to my elbow, and eventually up to my knees. Now I can start to pick him up. When I pick him up, I circle towards the side of the overhook. I reinsert my hook. I sit. Which way did I fall to? Always towards this side here, towards the strong side. The reason I fall towards the strong side is when I'm in this position here, and some of you guys yesterday were having a hard time. If I try to go towards the underhook side, I run into his arm right here, and it makes it harder for me to step this leg over. When I circle this way, I can get pretty far and it makes it fairly easy for me to step my leg in between his legs. Now my knee will slide forward and I sit to my butt as I fall to my hip. Notice how I, my head stays right next to him all the time. Okay, and I establish control. So he clears both of my hooks and we end up in this position here. Move your hip away. Now sometimes it might be hard for you guys to come up to your elbow or come up to your knees. So what I'm gonna do to make it a little bit easier is I'm gonna push off the ground I'm going to use my chest on his back, and I'm going to roll him so that his chest, instead of facing up, faces the ground, here. I kind of give a half roll. As I give the half roll, I can come up to my knees or my elbows, boom. Whichever one you get up to first. Sometimes it'll be your knees, sometimes it'll be your elbows. Just know that when you get to here, stay tight. In order for me to pick him up, I have to bring my knees close to his head so I have the leverage to pick him up. Every time, I reset in this position. So my chin is on his back, or on his shoulder here. And I always reset the position. Sometimes you guys are a little bit high, sometimes you're a little bit low. This is your opportunity to reset back to square one, and then start to bring your hook inside and fall to the side. So if you have no hooks, you use this one here, which is called modified hook drill. The standard hook drill, you still have the foot. It's a little bit more of a difficult climb. Sometimes, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder, just kind of depend on the opponent and the flexibility and such. So start from the over-under, fall whichever way. So even if I fall to the weak side, if I fall to the weak side here, he's still gonna clear both hooks and we're just gonna stay here. Now when they fall to the weak side, just know that it's the weak side, I have to squeeze a little bit tighter from the weak side because of the position, because he's kind of using the ground to peel me off his back, it's the weaker side. It's the weaker control side from this position. So just know that you're gonna to have to give a little bit more of a squeeze and a steady squeeze to hold position on the weak side. Same scenario, I walk my hip away, I use my shoulder on his head, I roll him forward until I get to my knees. From the knees I get up to the elbow, I slide my knee near my elbow and I sit him up. Now when I do it, even from the weak side, which way do I circle? Always towards the over side, the strong side. And which way do I fall? What happens if I fall to the weak side right now? I have no bottom hook. You always want to place the hook and then fall to that side because the, the top hook is not the one that's hard to reestablish. So let's say my hook's here, let's say he throws the hook away and I put it back. It throws a hook away, and I put it back. It's easy. 
But if he clears over my bottom hook, now that one's far more difficult. I have to hook drill, and why do I hook drill to get the hook back in? So that's why I tell you, make sure whenever you put the, it's easier to put the strong hook in, and it's obvious you have to fall to the strong side. So that's important, okay? So don't mess that one up. Don't put one hook in and fall the other way because you're, you're not helping yourself. Now you gotta start, every time you fall, you gotta start all over. Because you're never gonna be able to get the bottom hook in unless you sit them up. Questions? Go. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.